Hello everyone watching WWE Reloaded, please, subscribe, like share, comment and ring the notification bell for all your WWE updates. Fred Rosser, Darren Young, recalls being asked to take off New Japan jacket during WWE Network Nexus documentary. A few weeks ago, it was reported that WWE Network had started working on a documentary about the famous early 2010s faction The Nexus. It is believed to be an edition of the WWE Network Untold series, which aims to put out never-before-seen narratives and content. Being a group of NXT Season 1 graduates, the Nexus garnered a lot of popularity and success when they started to terrorize main roster talent soon after the first season of NXT was finished. However, their run came to a halt after a series of crushing losses in a feud against John Cena. On a recent episode of the Pro and Bro Wrestling Podcast, Fred Rosser, FKA WWE's Darren Young, ran down the events that took place while filming the WWE Network documentary. I purposely showed up with my New Japan jacket because I'm very proud of it. So when I got onto the set, they flew a camera crew to L.A, rented out a house and we did it in a house and as soon as the producer and I met, he was very cool. Rosser went on, he was like, oh how do you like New Japan, and I said I love it. It's been a bucket list of mine. So we kept talking and as soon as we started rolling, he asked me. Oh do you mind if you could take off your New Japan jacket? I said, just like this, I'm very proud of this New Japan jacket and you guys just inducted Jushin Thunder Liger to the WWE Hall of Fame and I just talked to John Laurinaitis a couple weeks ago because he was calling to check up on me and he told me about a New Japan slash WWE possible collaboration. So let me just be amazed if this interview is supposed to be Nexus documentary uncut, uncensored, let me just be me because I'm very proud, and the producer said, no problem. Rosser added. Fred Rosser was released from WWE in 2017. In October 2017, WWE released Emma, Summer Rae, and Darren Young together on the same date after they had spent years working for WWE. Following his departure from WWE, Fred Rosser first showed up in Shakara where he competed at the Shakara, King of Trios tournament. After his venture in Shakara, Rosser was signed to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and in 2021, he also got a deal from NWA. Thank you for watching WWE Reloaded, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and ring the notification bell for all your WWE updates.